Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss introduction to heat load calculation and ill filtration air CFM calculation. So let's start. So in that first we have to learn what is heat load and what is the main purpose of heat load calculation. Okay. So here introduction is written. Uh, the heating load is the amount of heat energy that must be provided to a specific space to maintain a reasonable temperature. So uh, the main purpose of heating load calculation is what? Uh, we have to maintain the comfort environment inside the room. And as you know that as per ASHRAE, American Society of Heating Refrigeration Institute, always for human comfort we have to maintain 20 plus minus 2 degree celsius temperature okay or you can say 22 plus minus 2 degree celsius and in fahrenheit 74 plus minus 2 degree fahrenheit okay between these range we have to maintain the temperature for human comfort okay so this is our main target the heat load can vary depending on many factor such as the size and shape of the space its orientation and the insulation property of the walls and roof okay so here the first target is what when you are starting the heat load calculation so first of all we have to calculate the total heat source okay you can see in this image here we have a complete room in this room what we have to find out what are the sources of heat okay so here we have a different sources now as we know that in summer season outside temperature is high as compared to inside temperature indoor okay so all of you know the concept of heat transfer that heat always transfer from high temperature to low temperature body so if outside temperature is high so it means the outside heat will transfer inside the room so there are different sources here you can see the roof is there so heat will transfer through this roof inside the room and through floor if you have any window so through that window directly heat will transfer inside the room and inside the room if you have some electrical equipment so through that electrical equipment heat will transfer if you have placed the lighting fixtures so through that lighting fixture heat will transfer even infiltration leakage of air inside the building through window cracks and door openings through that also if you have a partition wall so through that heat will transfer inside the room so first target is to find out the total source of heat transfer okay heat load calculation are used in designing heating ventilation and air conditioning system so they maintain a comfortable invo indoor environment okay so through the heat load formula HVAC professional ensure that the system is not overwork leading to inefficiency and increased energy cost okay so this is the main purpose now here you can see the partition option is given here so what is actually partition remember so partition is wall uh, the wall floor ceiling between condition and unconditioned space is called as a partition simple suppose if you if if you are designing okay if you are providing condition air in one room and adjacent to that room if it is an unconditioned space so the wall which is coming between condition and unconditioned space that wall is called as a partition wall let's say example here we have a two room okay in one room what we have given this is our condition space okay suppose and here the next room is what next room after the condition space is unconditioned space suppose so here you can see the wall is coming between condition space and unconditioned space so this wall is called as a partition wall simple okay getting all of you now come to next example suppose here we have a ground floor and first floor okay suppose in ground floor we have uh, we are providing condition okay it is a condition space and first floor above the ground floor we have a first floor so that is unconditioned space so you can say here you can see uh, the floor is coming between condition space and unconditioned space so this floor is called as a what partition floor same way if ceiling is coming between condition and unconditioned space that is called as a ceiling partition now the next which we have to discuss is infiltration so what is actually infiltration and how to calculate the infiltration CFM that we have to discuss here. So see 
it is written in simple language that infiltration is the accidental introduction of outside air into a building typically through cracks in the building envelopes and through use of doors for passage okay so in short you can say uh, that leakage of air inside the building through window cracks door opening close that is called as a infiltration okay so infiltration is sometimes called air leakage also infiltration is caused by wind negative pressurization of the building and by air buoyancy forces known commonly as the stack effect you can see here the figure is shown in that outside air will enter in inside the enter inside the room through that window crack door opening okay so that is called as a infiltration so in hvac we have to calculate the infiltration that how much air will infiltrate so how you can identify that for that we have a calculation okay that i will show you next term is here exfiltration so what is this see uh, the leakage of room air out of a building intentionally or not is called exfiltration suppose from the inside the air which going outside okay that is called as a exfiltration or you can say leakage of air outside the building through window crack door opening is called as a exfiltration so commercial air conditioned buildings are designed to be air tight all of you know so the window cannot be open and pressurized so in summer the air inside in colder means air condition space and therefore denser heavier than the hotter air outside so the natural air flow direction is therefore from inside to outside okay so this is called as a exfiltration now here i want to show you that how we can calculate the infiltration cfm air how much air will infiltration from inside to outside okay so see from outside to inside sorry infiltration is what leakage of air inside the building na, through window crack so here we have a different method so here i am using the crack method okay so see to find out the infiltration cfm infiltrate cfm or you can say window or frame cfm okay so we have a formula of crack length means first of all we have to find out the perimeter of that window or door okay and then leakage rate in cfm per feet okay so here see from where you will get the leakage rate or infiltration rate so based on your component suppose if you are finding out the infiltration rate cfm through windows okay so for that detail is written here 0.37 cfm per per feet of sash crack you have to consider for window for residential door suppose if you are if you are calculating the infiltration rate cfm through this residential door so for that infiltration this uh, rate you will get 0.5 cfm per feet of door area you have to take for non residential 1 cfm per square feet door area okay so here i will show you how to find out the infiltration cfm through windows okay so here see i have taken one question in that question what is written calculate how much air infiltrate through window each window length is 5 7.5 feet height 5 feet so here we have a two window you can see in this figure so each window length is given 7.5 feet and height of that window is what 5 feet so the total here we have a two window so total length of this window is 15 feet correct now see what we have to do now the next step is what we know that first of all to find out the infiltration cfm through window or through door whatever so here the formula is what first we have to find out the crack length means perimeter of that window and if you are calculating infiltration cfm for door so you have to find out the perimeter of that door so here in our case we are finding out the uh, finding out for windows so okay so here perimeter of rectangle is what p is equal to 2 in bracket length per width so see here i have written length of each window is 7.5 feet so that we have written here plus high uh, width 5 feet okay 
so for each window you have to calculate the separate like this 2 into 7.5 plus 5 then again plus 2 into 7.5 plus 5 because here we have a two window so here we have got perimeter of window is 50 feet correct now to find out the infiltration rate of window as i had shown you the table that you have to consider 0.37 cfm per feet of sash crack means window frame okay through this infiltr uh, through this table you will get uh, the infiltration rate value okay see for window it is written 0.37 cfm per feet of sash crack okay once you will get the infiltration rate and parameter so we know that the formula infiltration cfm crack length into leakage rate okay okay uh, so now here if you want to find out the infiltration cfm through window so here you have to use this formula you can see here the formula is written window air cfm is equal to crack length in feet uh, multiplied by leakage rate in cfm per feet okay so crack length already we have calculated 15 feet and leakage rate or you can say infiltration rate for window is a uh, 0.37 feet of uh, 0.37 cfm per feet of sash crack okay already you have uh, seen this detail in table which i have shown you okay now when you put the value 15 to 0.37 uh, you will get 18.5 cfm it means what 18.5 cfm air will infiltrate through this window okay that much of cfm air will infiltrate same way if you want to calculate the infiltration air cfm through door so you have to use the same formula first you have to calculate the crack length and from the table whatever leakage rate or infiltration rate uh, for door we have to take for single door okay for double door you can take it and calculate okay so this is all about introduction to heat load calculation and infiltration air cfm calculation so uh, if you are interested for complete heat load calculation by using HAP software. So our Udemy course is available. In description, you will get the link of our complete course of heat load calculation by using HAP software. And, and I have shared the coupon code also. You can use that code and then enjoy the complete course uh, by using HAP software. I hope all of you enjoy the session. See you in next one.